In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to snipe a token launch on Solana. This video will be showing you exactly how to find these tokens before they launch, as well as how we can identify whether they're going to be safe, as well as how to actually snipe them using Telegram bots. So as you can see here, this is an example of someone who's actually successfully sniped a token and made tens of thousands of dollars as a result. So here we can see they've sniped the token in the first minute and they brought $360 worth of this coin, which is to Solana. Now, if we scroll up to the top and hover over this, as you can see, they've currently sold $25,000 worth and they've still got almost $64,000 unrealized profit. So this is a really good example of someone who's done really well at sniping a token launch. And if you want to learn how you can also do this, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. So in order to find these tokens before they actually launch, I'm using a Telegram bot called Solana LP Burns. Now, I will actually include a link to all of these tools that I use in this video in the description down below. So make sure you click the links in the video description down below so that you can utilize all these tools to actually snipe tokens. Now, what we want to look for when we're sniping a token launch is one where the trading time has not actually started. So as we can see here, the trading time for this one already has started 30 seconds ago. So that means that we're not be able to snipe this token since it's already launched. So we need to find one that says launching in a few minutes or something like that. So this is an example of one where the training time hasn't started. Of course, I'm a bit late to viewing this now. This was about half an hour ago, so this would have already launched. But if we did see this pop up at the time, it would show that it's starting in four minutes, which gives us enough time to set up the sniper for this coin. Now, once we have actually identified a coin where the training time will be starting soon, we want to actually make sure it is safe. Now, this coin will be half safe because it means that the LP has already been burnt. However, that doesn't mean it's entirely safe. So we do need to check a few things first before we actually figure out whether to snipe this. So as you can see down here, we want to go to security. and We want to look at these three sections. Now, we want these all to be ticked. And as you can see right now, mutable metadata is set to yes. We ideally want this set to no, which means they can't really change anything. And if all three of these have a tick, that is a good sign that it is going to be a safe coin. Now, that isn't the only thing we have to look at. We do have to look at some more things because people are sneaky and they do all these different things to try to scam us of our money. So the next thing you want to look at is top holders and you want to make sure that radium holds the majority percentage. So as you can see right now, one of these wallets holds 33% and this will be the wallet of the person who created this coin. So what this means is on the launch of the coin, the owner will actually own 33%, which is a huge amount of the supply. And they can actually crush the coin down a lot with that much of the supply. So personally, I wouldn't bother sniping a coin if they hold over 20% of the coin. Even 20% is quite a lot. So ideally, you want them to hold less than 10%, but less than 20% is what I tend to do in order to actually snipe the coin. Now, because these things aren't safe and the creator holds most of the supply, I'm assuming that this coin right here, Squiddy Puss, is actually a scam. And we can check this by going over to Deck Screener. And as you can see, it launched and pretty much died straight away. So you want to avoid coins like that that aren't safe because this is exactly what will happen when you try to snipe it. It will have a big candle up, then the snipers will sell, and so will the guy that owns the coin and the 33%. And as you can see, it's now just dead. But let's just say we did find a coin like this that is 100% safe. They've burned everything. They've got all the security set to no. And they don't hold much of the supply. If that is the case, we can go down here and click this to get the contract address copied to our clipboard. And we can then paste it in to one of our snipers on Telegram. So now that we've got that safe coin that we're looking to snipe copied to our clipboard, we're going to go ahead and actually paste it into our sniping bot. And for this video, I'm going to be using Soul Trading Bot because this is one of the best sniping bots that are free on Solana, in my opinion. I'll also include an invitation link to this bot in the video description down below. Now, if you haven't used a sniper bot or Soul Trading Bot before, I've actually got a video on my channel showing you how to use Solana Trading Bot. So make sure to watch that video first so that you can learn how to set up this sniper bot. So we can just paste in the contract address and click enter. And if it hasn't yet launched, we will be able to see some information like this, where it gives us a countdown to how long it is going to launch. So as we can see, it will launch with a market cap of 1.5k, which is really low. And if this coin does say go up to 150k, that's 100x if you manage to catch the very bottom of this coin. 
So in order to actually snipe it, we simply have to go down to these buttons down here. I personally set my slippage to 1100 and I set my tip amount to 0 0.1. This will mean that we have a higher chance of our snipe going through. So I recommend these settings. And from here, in order to actually snipe it, you just have to choose how much you want to snipe it with. So you can either use these preset buttons down here, or we can click Sniper Excel, and we can type in a custom amount of Solana, which we want to snipe it with. So if we wanted to snipe with 0.001 for some reason, we could type that out and go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, the snipe has now been set and it tells us how much we're gonna buy and it tells us how long until the countdown ends. And when the countdown does end, it will automatically try and buy this coin for us. And from there, as long as it is safe, it will hopefully do well. However, I would recommend taking some profits on the way up, especially if you did snipe it really early. So as I mentioned earlier, I'll include all the links to the tools I've used in this video in the description down below. So feel free to check those out. It will help you out a ton when you are sniping tokens. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please comment down below to say it helped you out. Thanks for watching.